Welcome to the end of the shoot. What is the end of the shoot? It's basically the downfall of the Panda Life Gaming channel. And everything it stands for, which is lies, 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 arrogance, arrogance um, ignorance, so on and so forth. So today I'm going to do this. People complain, I want proof. Where's the proof? There's no such thing as proof. There's more proof on Kayla's side. No. That's it. I'm going to have all the proof in this video. All of it. Each and every single piece. You're not even ready for the amount of proof. But this video is probably going to be divided into three sections. Or what well, I'm going to say in three sections. Section one. The introduction to Brendan Chandler. This devilish looking man. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. This is the man that owns the whole Panda Life Empire. This is the man that is DMing 13 year old children, 14 year old children, 15 year old children, pretending to be a girl. This man here. Now a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, there's no proof. Well, just, just wait for it. I'm just going to introduce each of these characters, as you would say. So, but I have three coins here, and each time I flip one, I'm going to tell you a bit about them. The first one. Kayla Arkwright claiming to be 21 years old, however, also lies about their age, saying that they are indeed 18. They have a YouTube channel called Panda Life Gaming, where they make gaming videos with a distorted voice, which then they claim to say they have voice nodules. What is it? Something distorted voice nodules. Which, by the way, is also called singing voice, and this is a stress on the voice, and should be repaired within three weeks on average. She has also changed what that is. The second one, the second thing we know about her, is she's American, Filipino, or Irish, or some shit, you know. Claiming to be roommates with Auntie Shoryama. Also known as Brendan Chandler. She also claims to know Jade Weinsfeld in real life. Now, this is when things get interesting, because... This is when I go into the Jade story. That's basically what you need to know about Kayla for me to get started. Jade Weinsfeld is another YouTuber, very small channel. I can actually get into her channel. Very small channel. And she claims to be against Kayla. Mm hmm. Against Kayla. Interesting, right? No, the thing is, they both have claimed that they've seen each other in real life. And they send this one picture. Which is my favourite picture that they send. It is a picture of both of them together. Now I'm going to try to look for this picture. Because I remember seeing it before. On the two Facebook accounts. Where they copy their images from. Now they claim to have each seen each other in real life. That is correct. Yet Jade is over here saying that Kayla is an old. Is there an issue of that? Yes. Because if they've seen each other in real life, then she'll know she's not an ult. Unless she's also an ult. The third person I'm going to mention, because I can mention all of them by the time we bothered, is Dylan. Dylan claims to be the brother of Kayla and the engaged couple of Jade, who is also seeming to go against Kayla. So, where does this all tie in and why is it their drama between herself? Well, here we go. Here we go to the lies and corruption. As I showed you, this is the man that is using these people that they use to talk to these children, kids, to whatever it is from erotic roleplay to whatever fucking images they send. So firstly, let's use my proof, because I feel like proof is very important. We're going to focus first on Kayla Arkwright, and then we are going to move over to the Jade side of things. So first of all, if you go onto the internet and you search Aaron McLeaning, okay, Aaron, M Aaron McLeaning, that's what I mean. You will find a someone from Pearl Harbor, an actual person, and also a cosplayer, and so on and so forth. They 
have a Facebook account, you can check them out. And basically, they look exactly like, you know, who they say they look like. Who Kayla claims they look like. Now, my issue with this, you know, they can say what they want. They can say, oh, this is, this is definitely not real. Or, according to her, went to my alt account that I use for role-playing or some shit. Okay, cool. Okay, you use that for role-playing. Then her come in. This screenshot, you receive a message from Aaron McLean saying, please stop. There's the one that says, please stop using this. Or the messages that I have received from Aaron McLean claiming that she is not from you. Also, I'm going to use a screenshot from someone else because I've deleted my chat history. But here you go. Here's someone asking Aaron this question. And they say they claim not to know you and that they've been using your pics. So straight away, here's the issue. They've copied them. So that's that's the first one. That's the first one. Okay. That's if you can't accept that, then you know you're mental. In fact, I'm pretty sure she has a YouTube account. If I can find her YouTube account, I'll tell you. I'll put it in the description because I feel like Erin McLean deserves some some notice from what they've done. You know they've actually used their pictures, taking their time of their life, and you know, actually doing it. Whereas Kayla on this side is just taking pictures from her and just stealing them like a thief. A thieving thief. So that's the first one. Okay. So we prove that Kayla is not is not the person she says she's in the image. In fact, from Kayla did the right thing, and on the video of Kayla Peace, she claimed not to be the person in any of those images. Yes, she claims to lie about it and say, oh yeah, I'm the person in those images, which is a flat out lie. So that's, that's my first, my first issue, okay? Um, what else was there? Oh, now we go on to the Jade. This is when things get interesting. Oh, also, if you want to see, Erin McClaney has actual life records. Kayla Arkwright has no life records except for a university, which I can sign up myself up for myself and show that I went there under a completely false pretense. So, so the second one is Jade. Interesting, Jade. Claiming to be who they are, you know, having the same voice as Kayla. Very interesting. Am I right? Yes, I am very much right. Where does this fit into everything? Well, basically, by having the same voice, they prove that it's a voice changer. It's definitely not a voice module thing because the voice modules don't normally work like that. In fact, the voice modules, normally when they are affected, make your voice just more horsey, not more robotic and deeper. That's meaning it is a voice changer. So that's the second point I wanted to make, you know. Next, what was next? Um, oh yeah, Kayla has also, Jade, I mean, Jade has died about 50 times, you know. And also, where they have claimed that Kayla No, not Kayla. But basically where they claim where they have lived each other. And Jade has said that she has dated Kayla. So there's so many issues with this. But, you know, we're not going to go into that right now. We are going to go into the lies, the deception, the criminal actions on what they have done. First of all, bullying. I did a small three-part series on this called Kayla the Bully or whatever it was called. Basically, when people don't do what she says and what he, or what he says, this man mm -hmm, doesn't follow their empire and decides to not listen to them because they think what he does is gross and wrong. 
she immediately attacks them gets people to block them unfriend them tries to remove them from people's friend list okay that's a bit wrong secondly they are using the pictures of someone else to claim to someone who they are not as I have proven before if you still don't believe that I've proven it oh my gosh you need help next they mentioned cyberbullying oh they slide into the DMs of 14, 15 year olds, 16 year olds erotic role playing with these people which is wrong very wrong, very grotesque and illegal this is what this man is doing this kitty fiddling 20 whatever is year old man is doing to these kids now this normally would be fine for me but it's just disgusting in general and should not be done now there's so much more I could do here I could show you everything you wanted proof I can give you more and more proof but this person is a catfish a liar just a bully also a full on homophobic just racist in general if you don't think they're racist by the way I can show you with my DMs of her she has no remorse she has a hate towards black people apparently and yeah it's just not cool I guess but hey I don't really know what else to say there's more stuff you can do you can I'll leave a link as well to a you know a thing from a PDF I think it was from Palmer when Palmer was a thing when Kayla was pretending Palmer was a thing you know now here's the final question of the day why is there drama with herself I know many people are thinking this right now who are watching this video if these are all her alts okay why does she start drama with herself well here's the main key feature it's all about trying to gain that relevancy those views that attention now you're probably thinking to yourself but Kayla has said hundreds of times she doesn't want to be viewed as a drama channel that's true she doesn't what she wants to do is she wants to use Jade as a way to start this drama to get attention to her channel she doesn't need to post those drama videos if someone is already attending or giving an attention to her channel if you notice the minute Erios started to die out that's when Jade started siding with these things like Palmer or Hellhound, Hellhound is also very very obviously fake you can tell this quite clearly so is half of the other people that are on Kayla's side or against Kayla as well if they seem suspicious, if they don't seem to have logical make sense, if they are hacking things that shouldn't be hackable, then they are 100% huh. And this is the issue. If, or him, this is the issue, is that people don't realise this and keep giving all of this content to him while helping his alt when they are just him. So my advice is, if any of you are subscribed to Kayla Arkwright, Jade, Hellhound, unsub now. Don't give them that subs, no. If you're on the server, leave the server. Don't give them a platform to be able to build off of. And if you know someone that is becoming friends with this Kayla person, tell them don't run off. Instantly ban this person from your Discord server. Don't even wait for the time, because this is a grotesque, just it's grotesque in general what they're doing, and they shouldn't be on Discord. They are a sick, sick person and they need mental help. That's all I'm going to say on this one. Kayla, Brendan, I really hope you get the mental help you need. Stop trying to touch little kids, you absolute fucking pedophile. I hope you all have a good day, I guess. And yeah, I hope that this ended up better than I expected. I don't know. I kind of just did this in one take with the evidence I had in hand. And yeah, have a good one, guys.